What's up YouTubers, Hardworker12 with you here. So as many fans of my channel may know, I own a 2013 Volkswagen Jetta TDI Sport Wagon. And just for fun, I decided to go online and see how the values on these beasts are holding up. Not that I'm planning on selling my car right now, but I will be eventually. I found something surprising. So within 100 miles of where I am in Orange County, if I search for 2012 to 2014, because my car is a 2013, Volkswagen Jetta Wagon Diesels, there are 102 of them available. So that means there are currently 102 of these diesel refugee cars, basically within the LA, Orange County, Santa Barbara area. And it's not just the West Coast. If I do the same thing in Chicago, Illinois, 2012 to 2014, Volkswagen, Jetta, Wagon, Diesel, they have 136 of them. And beautiful New York, New York, same deal, 100 miles, 2012 to 2014, they've got 113 Jetta TDI Sport Wagons. So I decided to drill down and look at a couple of cars here. So if I check this one out, this is a 2014 Jetta TDI Sport Wagon at Volkswagen of downtown Chicago. They want $12,500 for it. It's got 56,000 miles and it's reflex silver over Titan Black. Let's have a look at the Carfax report and I'm going to show you how to read these on uh, these TDI buyback cars. So Carfax shows no accidents, no damage, one owner vehicle, nine service histories, personal car. Okay, all good so far. Now you'll notice here it shows that it was owned in New Jersey and Michigan. So let's scroll down. Originally it looks like this car was sold by Union Volkswagen in Union, New Jersey. You've got some service history on here, pretty good service history on the vehicle. Now, right here. July 12th, 2017, Michigan Motor Vehicle Department, title or registration issued to manufacturer. This is the day that Volkswagen bought the car back. When you see that uh, on the Carfax report, that's the day that it was actually bought back. Now, it's very likely that this vehicle never physically went to Michigan. Just because it was titled in Michigan doesn't mean it ever went there. Uh, but that is where Volkswagen titled the vehicles for the purposes of this buyback program. Now, so you'll see here, July 12th, 2017, VW bought it back. October 4th, 2019 is when it entered dealer inventory for sale. And this car is not in New Jersey, where it was originally sold and driven. It is in Chicago, Illinois. So I'm imagining, even though it doesn't show a, a sale at an auction here, that Volkswagen of Chicago did buy this vehicle at auction. All the servicing has been done, and it's now for sale in Chicago, Illinois. At, at, at press time, I should say. Uh, so that's one in Illinois. Let's look at another one. This is at World Volkswagen in New Jersey. This is a 2013 TDI Sport Wagon uh, for $10,950. And let's have a look at the Carfax. So no accidents, no damage, one owner, 12 service histories. Good, good, good. Uh, this was originally a Central California car, Clovis, California, Hayward, California. It looks like that's where it lived. Hayward, Hayward. Here we go. July 21st, 2017. Title of registration issued to manufacturer. So that's about the time that Volkswagen bought the car back. And then you can see way down here, almost more than two years later, uh, Volkswagen South Coast and Santa Ana serviced the car. It was probably stored there. They had a whole bunch of them at that particular dealer. That's I used to work in that area. Um, and then they sent it to auction on September 30th of this year. And it entered, let's see, vehicle offered for sale. Looks like Volkswagen South Coast got it ready. And then it was shipped across the country to New Jersey. So Neptune, New Jersey got the car 
on November 2nd, 2019. So it's kind of interesting, the progression here. VW bought it back in July of 2017. They Volkswagen South Coast and Santa Ana had a big old lot full of these things. They were just dirty, filthy, and sad looking. So they got it ready for sale. It was sold at auction to this dealer in New Jersey and then shipped to them. And now it's for sale in Neptune, New Jersey. So let's look at one more that I pulled up here. This is it. This car is for sale at Bizani Volkswagen, which is in Covina, Southern California area. Show me the car facts. No accidents, no damage, two owners, one open recall. No big deal. These things are known for recalls. <laughs> oh, I'm so funny. All right, let's see. All right, so this was a Washington State car. Dick Hanna Volkswagen in Washington. Uh, warrant in Oregon. Maybe the person moved to Oregon. I don't know. Vehicle serviced. Uh, it was offered as a certified pre-owned car. Vehicle serviced. Owner 2 bought it in Oregon. Blah, 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 blah. Title of registration issued to manufacturer in on July 18th of 2017. So these three cars that I've looked at here, they are all within the same month. Let's see. This one was July 21st. This one was July 18th. And this one was July 12th. So what I think is going on here and why I think now might be a good time to buy one of these TDIs is Volkswagen is releasing them in batches and sending them to auctions because you'll see this one here from Oregon. July 18th, they bought it back. Uh, manufacturer emissions recall issued. Okay, so there's a recall there on August 11th, 2017. And it didn't make it to auction. Who knows where this car was for the two year plus duration here, but it didn't make it to auction until November 4th of 2019. And you can see the car wasn't driven. On July 18th, it was reported to have 59,816 miles. It had 11 miles put on it in you know two years and four months or whatever that is. So it was sold at auction. Bazzani Volkswagen bought it, serviced it, emissions inspection, serviced, and now it's for sale there. So um, this is not probably the end of the TDIs if they're kind of going sequentially like this. They were still doing the buybacks into 2018. There were still some people bringing them back for buybacks. So they Volkswagen still has some of these things in the hopper. But I think that now could be a good time uh, to look into getting one because they're available. I mean... I, I'm only searching for 2012 to 2014 Jetta wagon diesels. You know, there's Jetta sedans, there's Golfs, there's Passats, you know, there's the odd Touareg and Audi A3 and things like that running around. And there's hundreds of these things out there for sale in the country right now. And the prices aren't, you know, aren't bad. Let's just for fun sort by price lowest in Chicago, Illinois. Here's one for $6,900, got 117,000 miles on it, don't know if I'd recommend that, but you know, 10985 for a 2012 with 77,000 miles, might not be a bad deal. Weirdly, where's my LA? I think we have the cheapest ones in Southern California, sort by price lowest. So here's a 2012 with 51,000 miles for 10,775. Oh, this this car's probably got frame damage or something. 2013 Volkswagen Jetta TDI Sport Wagon for $7,700 with 32,000 miles, but yeah, inland boat and RV sales with no Carfax report. I don't know about all that. Uh, but here's a 2012 for nine grand with 50,000 miles. That hurts. Has this car got a clean Carfax? Oh, no accidents, no damage. Oh, so there's a car for nine grand with 50,000 miles. And it does come with some warranty because all of the TDIs have the following warranty on the emission systems. 
10 years or 120,000 miles from the original in-service date, or 4 years or 48,000 miles from the date and mileage of the emissions modification, and that covers all of this stuff. So exhaust gas after treatment system, fuel system, fuel pumps, high pressure fuel rail, injectors, uh, exhaust gas recirculation system, air intake pipe, charge air cooler, the turbo, the glow plug, uh, the OBD system, and the long block warranty shall cover the engine subassembly that consists of the block, crankshaft, cylinder head, camshaft, and valve train. So basically the engine, the turbo, and all of uh, the related emissions components are covered for a pretty good duration of time on all these cars. So there's some good value out there. The cars are available. Um, it looks like they're going to continue to be available for the next, I don't know, I would guess maybe year, um, just based on how many more buybacks they did. I mean, it just, I looked at a lot of Carfax reports for this thing, and all of the titling seemed to have been done around July. Now, I don't know if they waited and did them in batches or if they're just waiting and selling them in batches, but it's interesting how consistent that was uh, for them to be, have all been bought back around July of 2017. Um, but that's kind of what you're looking at when you're looking at one of these things. I think it is a good idea for any used car. Always look at the Carfax. But the Carfaxes on these are weird because, you know, you've got a car that was registered in New Jersey and Michigan. Well, odds are this vehicle never physically made it to Michigan. It was probably sitting on a dealer lot somewhere in New Jersey or at some storage facility. And then when they finally decided they wanted to sell it, they sold it at auction and it ended up in Chicago, Illinois. Um, so those are the things to look for if you're looking at one of these. But yeah, I mean, I love my car. And uh, I think if you get one, hopefully you'll love it too. And hopefully you'll have good luck with it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you uh, like the video, please like and subscribe. And have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.